वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज साची एंड इफ यू वर सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल देन आई एम रियली सॉरी बिकॉज आई हैव बिन गॉन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई नो एंड आई अपॉलोजाइज फॉर नॉट पोस्टिंग फॉर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट आई एम बैक नाउ एंड आई प्रोमिस टू पोस्ट मोर सो सब्सक्राइब सो दिस इज द लुक फॉर आर टी डेज वीडियो सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन अचीविंग दिस लुक देन लेट स्टार्ट विद वीडियो ओके सो वे गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द मे बिलीन फिट मी फाउंडेशन मैट एंड पोरलेस एंड इवन दो दिस इज मैट एंड पोरलेस इट इज परफेक्ट फॉर ड्राई स्किन इट डज नॉट एम्फिसाइज माई ड्राई पैचरेज एंड इट हैज काइंड ऑफ अ सैट एंड फिनिश नेक्स्ट आई एम यूजिंग द कंसीलर फ्रॉम द फिट मी रेंज अगेन एंड आई एम यूजिंग दिस टू कंसील एंड ऑल्सो हाईलाइट To set everything in place, I am using the Miss Claire pressed powder in the shade Natural Beige, and I'm using it to set all the places I put concealer on because you do not need to set the foundation; it does not feel tacky. It's all right on its own. Next, I'm using the Savanna bronzer to bronze up my face, and I'm contouring and bronzing with this. And I'm bronzing the hollows of my cheekbones, my jaw, my forehead, and my nose a little bit. For blush, I'm using the Maybelline Cheeky Glow Blush in the shade Creamy Cinnamon, and I know I use this blush a lot, but that is only because it goes with every look. Then I'm using the highlighter from this cheek palette, and I'm going to highlight the usual places: the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow just a little bit. Now moving on to the eyes I'm using my favorite transition shade of all time from Miss Claire and I'm going to put it on my crease and I'm not being too precise with it because this is just going to act as a transition shade Next I'm taking this maroon plum color from the Freedom palette and I'm going to put this on the outer corners of my eyes just a little bit into the crease and also in the inner corners of my eyes because I'm going for a halo eye look so this is going to be our color on the outer and the inner corners fiery copperish red color and i'm going to pop that on right in the center of my eye and this color is going to be like the star of the show then again i'm going in with the same plum maroon color and i'm intensifying it just to make the look a little bit more sultry with this more warm maroon color i am going to repeat the same thing again that is i'm going to intensify the inner and the outer corners and i'm not dragging this too much into the crease i just want it to intensify the inner and the outer corners
Once we are done with that, I'm just taking a little bit of that bronzer and I'm going to add it to my crease just to add a little bit of warmth to the whole look. And then with my finger, I am just intensifying the center shade again using the same plum maroon shade to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm bringing this shade all the way in on my entire lower lash line. Then with this sparkly brick shade, I am going to run that on my lower lash line. But I'm not bringing this all the way in and I'm staying very close to my lash line. With this golden white highlighter shade, I am going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and also my brow bone. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Super Black Eye Pencil to line my waterline and also to tight line. And I learned this trick where you could do both at the same time. But do not try this if your eyes are too watery. Trust me, it will be a mess. Anyway, moving on, I curled my lashes and used the Hyper Curl Mascara on my lashes. And finally, for the lips, I am using this warm brown shade. And it was a little bit too dark for me and also not matte so I decided to set it with some powder to mattify it and also make the shade a little bit light so yeah this is the final look I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye bye I will see you the next time